Yeah, I mean, they 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 had a guy get hot at the right time. He sent it to the second overtime, and he was hot in, in that overtime. So, you know, uh, we we were a little flat, a little disjointed to start the game. Got down, found our way back in it, pushed it to overtime. You know, up three after the first over at the end of the first overtime, and gave up a three and. Uh, Looks like uh, the legs fell off a little bit, but also he, he got hot at the right time. So uh, hats off to him. It's first game, the big three and the, and the this new group, group, new look Nets. When you're talking to the guys in the locker room and you're assessing this one with the group, are you focusing more on the on on the the negatives, if you will, or the areas to clean it up? Or, or are you bringing up the, you know, the positives and things that you want to build on? A bit of both. I mean, mostly the positive, though. We Look, this is... First night uh, that we've had everyone on the floor together. Um, you know, we seemed a little lost at times, which is natural because we haven't played together. Um, so there's a little indecision. We started the game turning the ball over. I think we had seven or eight in the first quarter. Um, you know, we cleaned it up, got ourselves back in the game. But obviously, you know, we, we have to defend better. Um, but I stay positive. You know, these guys, it's the first night out together. We just getting a feel for each other, and this is going to be a process that's going to take the entire year. So while we're all disappointed, um, you know, we got lots to, to build on, lots to grow, and lots more opportunities. Alex Schiffer, The Athletic. Hey, Steve, you mentioned that trio of, of James, Kevin, and Kyrie. It seemed like they were on the court together a, a while t- towards the end of that game. I guess how much did you think fatigue factored in, especially in the, in the second overtime? Yeah, I think the second overtime, you know, there was fatigue. Um, but – you know, when a guy gets gets hot like that, unbelievably hot, uh, you know, there's not a lot you can do. So a um, bit of everything, you know, if you ask me. And unfortunately, we didn't close it after the first overtime. Christian Winfield, New York Daily News. Hey, Coach, can you uh, – I mean, obviously a guy gets hot and sometimes, you know, you, there's nothing you can do about it. But in terms of just complete defense, I mean, they ran up 140 points. What did you see that you didn't like out there? Well, we 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 had breakdowns all over the place, um, you know. So we we got a lot of work to do. I think that's we we know that we know that uh, you know we we have an, a very offensive team right now. So we have to find ways to defend, to get connected, to be on the same page, and uh, that's going to take some time. So it's um, you know it, it's definitely uh, early early doors as far as this new team and this new group learning to defend together and how we can be effective defensively. You know, that, that's, that's got to be one of our, our, our uh, you know, um, the part of our game that we're going to focus on the most going forward. Brian Lewis, New York Post. Hey, Steve. In terms of the breakdowns, I mean, is that – do you chalk that up to just uh, legs? Do you chalk it up to communication for a new group? Or are these issues the fact that you have a very – you have offensive minded personnel, which would be, that's more of a long-term concern. Yeah. All of the above, you know, that doesn't mean that, uh, you know, we, because we have offensive personnel that we can't be better defensively. You know, we got to improve, we got to improve our communication. We got to improve obviously um, getting guys into better condition, but uh, you know, we, we, we feel positive and that we can improve defensively, but it's definitely got to be a priority for us. Malika Andrews, ESPN. Steve, I, I know I jinxed you pregame by asking about minutes, but in looking at the breakdown with both Kevin and James Harden playing 50-plus minutes, only going four deep on your bench, a big disparity between two guys on the bench and two others, is it a lack of trust with the bench? Is it just the way the game was flowing? Why not dip in a little more to try to build in more breaks for those stars? A little bit of both. Um, you know, first of all, we found ourselves in a hole. Um, you know, the second unit uh, got beat up pretty good there in the second quarter. Um, and, you know, we we relied on our, our star players. So, um, you know, it, when you get yourself in a dogfight, you, you, you know, when you're trying to find, climb out of a hole, it's hard to really go to the bench. Um, you know, we're... we're we were in the game. We had a chance to come back. We got ourselves back. We had a chance to win, and we didn't do it. So right now, it looks like we made the wrong decisions. But if they don't make that three at the end of the first overtime, it looks like it was worthwhile. So sometimes you roll the dice. The second unit didn't didn't perform tonight the way uh, we think they could. So 
we didn't go back to them as long and as hard and we kept it the rotation shorter um and we end up losing so you could you know say that that was the wrong decision but uh we at least you could say you could also say we gave ourselves a chance and had a three-point lead with a few seconds left in overtime Chris Beck, NBC New York. Steve, games like this, even a loss, is this a part of the process, the whole building with this group? Of course. You know, I mean, every night has to be a part of the process for us because we just, you know, are such a new group that we got to, you know, take take advantage every time we take the floor, whether it's practice or games, to, to get ahead and to learn and to grow together. So, um, but to play in close games, to play in overtime games, you know, win or lose. Uh, we won one the other night in a close game. Um, we lose one tonight. It, it, they're, they're important win or lose right now for us to get that experience, that collective experience 